The Lake of Big Creek State Park is 866 acres and was created in 1972 as part of a flood control program. Over three and a quarter million people utilize Big Creek every year to boat, fish, and swim. In Northwest Iowa, the Okoboji Yacht Club has a long history of sailing. Originally founded in 1877, the club has a strong commitment to racing and to promoting sailing as a sport. And to make sure the club has a future, they offer a youth sailing program. You know that's not in the water, right? The Okoboji Yacht Club in Northwest Iowa has a long history. First established in 1877, the club has been in continuous existence since 1933. Over the years, Jerry Hughes and Bob Schneider have been a big part in shaping the history of the Yacht Club. I'd love to sail more than about anything. Well, you know, it's a very challenging sport and it's a beautiful sport. You know, I love sails, I love the sailboat. And of course, the chess game that you play out there is very intriguing. It's just a great game. Without a doubt, my closest friends to this day came from my sailing expertise, from, from my experiences with the other sailors. They're, they're, they're my closest friends. They were a very close bunch, and they all became dear, dear friends. Today, the Okoboji Yacht Club has around 500 members, and every Saturday and Sunday between Memorial Day and Labor Day, the club hosts races. I like the competition. It, it's not what people think. It's not just sailing around and having a cocktail. It is, uh, it's fiercely competitive and can be uh, a little scary at times, but it gets your adrenaline going, so it's a lot of fun. Kirsty Thorson is the director for the OYC Yacht School. This year, nearly 400 young people took advantage of the program, where they learn more than just the mechanics of sailing. For some of them, it's just learning to sail and be in a boat, have fun, enjoy being able to steer a boat by themselves and kind of get an idea of how you sail a boat. You do have the responsibility of taking care of your equipment, making your sails are in good shape, um, cleaning your boat. There's a bunch of sand in all these boats. It's not fun to sail in there when there's sand all over it, so they're, they're learning a lot about keeping things ship shape. According to information that Nicholas Hayes gathered for his book, Saving Sailing, over the last several decades, the popularity of sailing has decreased. Since 1997, participation has declined by 40%, and down 70% since 1979. Hayes believes that the key to the future of sailing is to making it a family activity. At Okoboji, family participation is a key ingredient when it comes to making the next generation of sailors. It's a big family building thing, and we're trying to get some more parent involvement um, so that the parents know what's going on because the parents don't come to class and don't see what their kids are doing during the day. That's what I've always enjoyed about sailing is that it's, I can't really say it's cross-generational, but for example, the MC fleet here might have kids in it that are 17 along with the 50-year-olds and they all have a, a bond with each other. The Sailing School's No Tears, No Fears Regatta is a series of races that allows the sailing students to experience what it's like to compete against other sailors. All of the boats are of the same design, making the race more about who is the best sailor and not about who has the fastest boat. Well, it's kind of like the competitive feeling that you have. You have like all your friends and you kind of just want to show them who's boss <laughs> and like kind of uh, Kind of, you make a lot of friends doing this. You you sail around. You want to get known as like a pretty good uh, person and a sailor because kind of like what a basic sailing is about is you kind of want overall. What I really want to become after this is a good person from learning how to do this and all have and having all these good friends. Three, two, one. According to David, he's been sailing for a long time, ever since he was three. Like others his age, he has a number of summer activities he takes part in. Music lessons, golf lessons, baseball, soccer. That's a short list of the many activities that compete with sailing. I do wrestling sometimes. I do tennis sometimes, soccer, um, violin. I just like sailing, and I think it's really fun. And I like going uh, fast in a sailboat. 
Um, I did pretty good. I got second in every single race. I got second out of all three races. So I'm pretty excited about that. Since I got three seconds and nobody else got three first or anything, that means that I probably got first in the regatta. You just kind of got to keep believing in yourself and believe that if you try your hardest that you'll get a good placing and you'll do good. And yeah. Cheryl Jones is the 2012 Commodore, or the presiding officer, of the Yacht Club. Our, our model this year has been uh, 80 years of friends, family, and sailing. And sailing is just the part that brought us all together. It's just a wonderful sport, and it's a lifelong sport, and that's the, that's the beauty of it. Members of the Okaboji Yacht Club hope that they'll be celebrating another 80-year anniversary in the future. They hope to spark an interest in sailing through the Youth Sailing Program, an interest that will grow to where sailing becomes more than just another outdoor activity, but a way of life.